Everybody stay inside, the man that has caused terror in the entire world has been released in a form of a team of the season so far car guys. I'm scared to try it out, but I did it for you guys on Instagram. I asked, who do you want to see as a reviewable player in the Liga Nos and Jesus Corona, yes I said his last name, has was one of the top choices. So I'm here doing it and I don't blame you guys, this car looks fantastic, 89 rated right back, 93 pace, 83 shooting, 85 passing, 90. 85 dribbling guys 85 defending and 78 physical 58 medium medium right footed five star five star there is nothing wrong with this card oh my goodness this card could probably play in multiple positions let's look at the in-game stats 98 acceleration 88 sprint speed nobody should ever be able to catch up to this guy he should be able to catch up to the Adama Trioris of the world on to the shooting really good shooting for a right back his original card is right mid right winger so it makes sense that his shooting is high 94 attack positioning 85 finishing this guy should be scoring goals when the opportunity arises and on to the passing as well really good man 88 vision 89 crossing 86 short passing and 96 curve oh my goodness I know that long passing at 73 is a kind of kind of bad but that's what chemistry styles are for on to his dribbling talk about meta talk about one of the most meta right backs in the entirety of FIFA 20 98 agility 93 balance oh man oh man oh man 91 ball control 97 drilling 91 composure <laughs> this card just keeps getting better and better almost every stat is in the green on to the defending as well really good 80 interceptions 87 defensive awareness and 86 standing tackle that standing tackle is key especially in defense just press circle or B and then he will get the ball back for you and then on to the physical guys 99 jumping 99 stamina 92 aggression oh my goodness this guy 58 and have that aggression why, why is he so angry I don't don't know but 56 strength is a little bit of a downside i'm not gonna lie especially in that right back position but we have applied a sentinel chem style to add it plus 10 hopefully that 66 can help and also max out the defense and physical traits he has a flare and technical dribbler i'm so excited to try out this jesus corona right back card i am going to be playing him at right back and then in a couple games of midfield just to see what position suits them better so let's get on to the review guys Guys, first I want to say, how is this card this cheap? 42k on PlayStation and 49k on Xbox. This card was such a pleasure, such a fun card to use in FIFA, man. This is an incredible card. As you can tell right off the bat, I started with a good no. This card was so good on the pitch. Different positions, it doesn't matter where I put him. He was producing on the pitch. And now let's break it down into sections. First, that 93 pace. Man, you definitely do feel that 98 acceleration this guy accelerates what like one of the quickest players i have tried this year 98 acceleration is incredible imagine if you increased it with the chemistry style this guy would even be so much faster i actually put a sentinel on him and just to increase the defending and physical because that's in my opinion what needs to be upgraded the most but if you do put an anchor or a shadow or a hunter or a catalyst this guy will feel so rapid especially him being 5'8 it makes him feel even more rapid just because of the body type but yeah that acceleration is a key and i mean a key pro on this card at 98 is definitely felt on the pitch and the sprint speed as well once he reaches top speed it is still pretty fast it's not the elite speed when he reaches at the top of the sprint speed level but it is pretty high up there and then now on to the shooting of 83 guys that's scored a goal with him that's how much it should tell you that he is an elite card he can play in many different positions and like you see in the title he can play anywhere and he definitely lives up to that title he scored a one goal for me because his original card don't forget is a right mid right winger card and then he has that Europa League also that is more of an attacking force and this one is right back because I'm, I guess he played right back for Porto this year but having a right back with 85 finishing means you can you don't have to play him at right back you can play him at center mid you can play him at cam you can play him out of the right wing or right mid striker this guy will produce and that 85 finish does show as well as that 94 attack position and this guy was in the right position of the time whenever I was attacking so GG on that and now on to his passing guys the 88 vision and 86 short passing is a perfect combination for a right back slash midfielder and that's exactly what you need to get the ball forward to your attackers and your central attacking mids so he does a really good job that 96 curve is amazing as well he will give some crazy passes with really good curve and I guess that attributes to that 96 curve and now on to the 
dribbling guys at 95 his best that talk about meta one of the most meta players that i have used this card is broken with that 98 agility and 93 balance with the body framework that he has and the acceleration it's just a combo for disaster for defenses and offensives as well depending on where you play him 86 reactions is a key stat in a defender so it is really good that he has really high reactions especially at the end of the games he'll react to an interception or he'll react to a pass perfectly and then on to the ball control and the dribbling at 97 man talk about a good card good dribbling and then a five star five star combo that is just out of this world like you said on the clip i played him at right back for the first game and then after that i started playing him at center mid and it felt like his natural position was a midfielder he grabbed five assists guys five assists in that midfield role in five games and that is top notch production it just feels like he's a midfielder guys i don't know what else to say and now on to the defending also really good guys i really did feel that 86 standing tackle in 87 defensive awareness he was really good on the pitch whenever he had to play right back or defend in that midfield position you're going to see a lot of standing tackles a lot of interceptions by this card and that defensive awareness helps him out so much because he is aware at all times whenever you're playing defense or you're controlling him he will go get that interception i know that interception of 80 is low for a right back so that's why i went with the sentinel chem style to increase it as much as possible and it really did show on the pitch and now on to the physicality his worst trade at 78 i mean what can i say he's short he's 5'8 the strength is not going to be that high but what really saves this card is that 92 aggression he's really aggressive on the pitch you press circle or b depending on what system you have and he'll go in there he'll go in for the tackle and he will win it because his defensive awareness is really good and his aggression is really high and the 99 stamina is a really big plus i was really running like crazy with him or all around the pitch and he wasn't getting tired he will definitely last you the whole game and he's definitely a good super in my opinion because he just can do a little bit of everything this card only has one con and that is that strength of 56 if that strength was about 80 or about maybe 75 and then you can increase it with a chemistry style this guy would be a complete tank and one more con is his link ability. Uh, yes, he plays for Liga Nos, and Liga Nos has some incredible players. But if you don't have that, you're going to need icons to link him up because he is from Mexico. And Mexico do not have really good meta center backs or right wingers that I can think of at the moment. And yeah, that will be the only issue. You're going to have to use icons or Liga Nos players to link him up. But if you do find a way to link him up, this guy is a fantastic player. He's 5 star, 5 star, which is an incredible combination to have at right back position or center mid position or right mid position or wherever you want to play him honestly and then the pace is really good the shooting is fantastic you saw that goal that he scored for me incredible only forwards can score that goal 85 passing is out of this world really good passing for him as well especially if you increase it and then his best at 95 dribbling you definitely feel it this guy is a complete meta player this card is broken op whatever you want to call it it was a really good card and i'm really happy that i got the chance to review this card because once i started i was like i have to do a review on him because he just looks really good and he actually did perform on the pitch he did get six contributions in five games of five games that i played and that's all i want from my midfielder slash defender Anyway guys, that'll be the end of the gameplay portion of this review. Let's go on to the final thoughts on this Corona Team of the Season So Far card. So this Corona Team of the Season So Far card causing another disruption this time in the world of FIFA 20. And what a fantastic card to use. I was had so much fun using this card. And that's why it's going to lead to a 9.5 rating out of me. 9.5 out of 10 just because I thought about it. His skills are incredible. His dribbling is fantastic. As a right back, that's what you need to have. And then also the price I have to put put that into account when doing these ratings and he's really cheap basically discard value and yeah really good card corona 89 thumbs up from me and now on to the recommended can styles number one is going to be a sentinel guys if you're going to play him in a more defensive role i would definitely go with a sentinel increase that defending and physical as much as possible as his physical is pretty low especially his strength and then the second recommended camp style is going to be a Deadeye, guys. If you're going to play him at the midfield role or more attacking role, definitely go with the Deadeye because you can increase that finishing, the shooting, and also the passing because his long passing is 73. So that definitely will help you out. And now to the big question, those Corona Team of the Season card, Passive Foot, Leo, FC, 
test for foot champs quality starter and yes absolutely he gets the nod for me he passes the test with flying colors he is an end game right back end game card that you can use on your squad and lastly the similar players according to foot big guys is going to be that prime icon moments sambrota and then the second one is going to be that foot miss at all and i do agree with them because they do have good skill moves and good weak foot and they can do a little bit of everything they can play a little bit of right mid they can play a little bit of right wing so yeah i do agree with that comparison really good top-notch stuff from foot band hopefully this review helped you out in deciding whether you want to pick them up or not or if you got them in your red picks and you want to see if you want to start them or not i would say yes guys if you get them in your red pick especially because he is a really good card and yeah that'll be the end of this video guys before i let you go i just want to say thank you so much for your support on instagram and youtube lately i have been killing it and i love seeing the support i'm getting don't forget to follow me on instagram under footleo underscore f see if you have any questions don't hesitate to dm me or just comment down below don't forget to subscribe for more team of the season content this is leo i bid you goodbye and good night